Hello everyone, this is me Sadhya here and I'm back with the monthly reads. This is going to be for the sign of uh, Taurus. So let's see what is coming up for the Taurus for the month of uh, June 2021. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading but no charms will be added so stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So, Taurus, let's see what can you expect coming up for you in the month of June overall. Let's begin. Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Beautiful energies to have. You're going to start something beautiful, leaving something behind. Um, whatever it is that you're leaving behind it might seem something wrong for you to do, but at the same time, it's not as bad as you might take it, uh, you know, initially. But I feel like, you know, it's ultimately going to bring you happiness. Whatever it is that you're leaving behind, work, finances, someone, uh, because I feel like, you know, you're choosing love, happiness over something else. So whatever you're choosing to do, you are getting happy for doing that. Leaving a family member, leaving someone, leaving a people's opinion, leaving your own past, leaving your own self-imposed restrictions, leaving um, situation at work and choosing your own happiness is what I'm picking up here coming up for you in the month of uh, June, especially in the very beginning of the month. Um, nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Let's take one card for this five of pentacles. <clears throat> you have uh, ignored, neglected something regarding your love life for so many years maybe. And it was coming more because of uh, you chose to do so. You had your guards up. You felt like, no, you don't want to give your time and energy into it. And now you are changing. Now you are like, you know, ready to put your effort into it. Ready to give into it ready to go for what you believe in ready to go for what you truly love ready to go for what you truly want to have in your life i feel like you, know, you for majority of you you are going to choose to settle down in life with a specific someone maybe you were running away from that you were running away from you know uh going to the committed way forward in a relationship going to get married to a person you were having your guards up, but now you're leaving that all behind and now you're choosing to take on to that new journey with you, um, with your specific someone. It seems like, you know, there, there has been so many things, uh, so many thoughts that you were, you would always have when, when it comes to the situation in your love life, uh, where you felt like taking a decision, but you could not. But seems like, you know, all the unwanted ideas, thoughts are dissolving now and you are going to think through... Uh, from the love perspective where you're gonna choose love over anything else so I feel like you know there is a major shift happening for you in your life as you choose to choose love so I do see you choosing love over anything else let's take more cards there eight of swords you might have had so many self-imposed blocks and that that was causing you nothing but pain you know hatred um, aggression um, negativity in your life which is gonna end you are going to go for what you, your heart has been asking you to go for. No more self-blocks, no more uh, pain, no more suffering. It's all going to end. You are choosing love. You are choosing love over anything else. And you are happy and excited to start over uh, with, with your specific someone. For majority of you, it could be a person that you already know. It can be a new person for some of you as well. But I do see that you know there is this soulmate connection. So there could be a new soulmate coming in as well. Um, that you're going to give chance to but for majority of you it's a past person uh, somebody that you have been ignoring to to uh, go to um, direction guardian choose your path I feel like you know, you're choosing the path of love now um, the universe has asked you compelled you pushed you to choose your path and you are choosing love over anything else you are choosing the path that leads towards love happiness and abundance uh, connected to the family or a family life. I feel like you know, you're going to start a family with someone. Lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. For some of you, the person, if, if you are a masculine, uh, 
or if your person is a masculine and that person is a Taurus or whatever, if you're a cross watcher, the, the feminine in this connection has basically mas manifested this. You know, they are the one who is getting the rewards of what they have been praying, affirming. They always had this hope, wish that one day their love will be acknowledged. And that's exactly what is happening. Um, stand your ground. I feel like, you know, it's high time that you stand your ground, follow your heart and just go for what you believe in. Stop letting thoughts, minds, uh, sets, people dictate you in your life you are gonna you know push that all away negativity and, and negative emotions connected to a situation and you're just gonna follow your heart follow your love um that you have for a specific someone let's take cards from this time uh it's time to release negativity uh negativity could have been blocking you or your love life or your path overall so it's high time that you release that and follow what you believe in expect powerful change something is definitely changing within you which is going to bring you these changes in your love life as well um again maybe it's your person's manifestation which is going to come true uh as they hold their vision for the two of you together in this connection that could be the case for some of you as well so let's take more cards here let's see what else is happening in this connection between the two of you wow beautiful energy star is it's going to be a beautiful month especially if you have waited for this time to have in your love life your wishes are getting granted your person's wishes are getting granted um because i feel like you know for some reasons you have been the one who was pushing it away for whatever unwanted reasons um let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others for some of you your friends might help you to see the path clear forward as well that could be the case for some of you you might have been in separation from your person and now maybe they are you know the help is coming in in this situation um i feel like you know um you have been there and dealt with it already separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon i feel like you know that was exactly what was happening before so I feel like, you know, for some of you, maybe your friends created issues between the two of you that led to separation. I feel like, you know, it's a past energy that could have happened, but uh, yeah, unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this connection going on. I feel like, you know, it's more of a past energy of the connection. On either day, we do have the finances and career. So maybe that has been the issues in the connection as well. Uh, you know where where you felt like you know there was no love or attraction left in the connection so you parted ways and stuff like that um but then soon you find out that that's not what it is for some of you if this is yet to happen if you are going to get you know uh, misguided by your friends by your family by your colleagues by your people that you know you need to separate from your specific someone you have to leave them behind you have to do this and that to have the happiness that you want trust me you try that and you fail because you are not going to get happy and then you're going to come back to your person because that's what believe that's what you're going to get happiness with uh things will change major uh, shift will happen for majority of you like i said i feel like you know this has already happened but for some of you maybe it was yet to come yet to happen in your life and if that happens stay strong because your person will come back to you leaving the rest and um yeah for majority of you, I feel like you know this is gonna happen this uh, this time in the month of uh, um, in the month of June when you are gonna have your person back because they're gonna choose love leaving the rest. So yeah, this pretty much is coming up for you for this read. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you have a link to get a personal read, you can always reach out to me for that on the email ID in the description box. Till I do with the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye bye.